hi welcome in today's video I'll be showing you how to create a new supplier and how to update and manage your existing suppliers so I'm logging into your Oracle instance which is R12.2.4 and let's go to the responsibility called payables manager which is used to uh, maintain all the supplier information so you go on to uh, suppliers and click on supplier entry and inquiry that's where uh, you land up with uh, in the new supplier form so as you can see this is a little bit different than what you guys are used to using your R11i and now this is how your supplier screen would look like in R12 so the form has been uh, change to an HTML web page rather than using the standard Oracle form so I go in and this is the same form which you will land up with uh, when you want to query an existing supplier or create a new supplier so in this case we are going to create a new supplier so I click on the create supplier button on the top so you put in your uh, organization name uh, let's pick up a name called old let's pick up oval time INC this is the only thing which is required uh, as mandatory in this uh, form and then click on apply the system will create a, a supply number for you and registry ID for you and then it will by default select some of the check boxes in this case it will hold payment on unmatched invoices as I said the supply number and registry ID are automatically created for you this is based on the profile options we have set so you if you want you can have your own supply number but in, in our, our world we just have the system create a supply number and now on the left hand side you would see it has got a lot of uh, tabs called quick update so it has all the links you would need um, to fill in to create a supplier so Oh, this is like very easy than R11 because you have everything on the left hand side as one uh, quick shot so let's go and uh, create uh, fill in all the information so let's go to the organization first so in the organization what you typically would select is a type and in this case you create on the find menu and then type in SU and then go then you would say let a quick quota supplier that's what's required and then click on save All right next in the tax details you can go in and create a tax per ID if you are using that uh, so you can use put in tax per ID in this case I'm just putting something and click on save so address book this is very critical so what you what you do here is pretty much create all the addresses and the locations for that supplier so as you say the thing is here so I'll just go and create a new one put in the address of say 123 mangrove lane and uh, select a city let's say Irvine California and then uh, you need a county for the US and uh, a for the US you need a county information but let's see what happens so I'm going to show you a quick tip so then I want this site to be for purchasing site and payment site and hit continue so as, a, as you say it's an address name so what you need to provide is why what is this address doing so I am going to say Irvine main site so this is some kind of identification required for this uh, site and then click on continue as you see if since the US it requires city postal code combination but then Oracle provides a suggestion so you can click on that and then select Irvine Orange County in California and then you can put in a zip code of 92617 and click on continue so now as you see that once you create an address this address is like global address and then uh, is in R12 with the new TCA architecture you can have individual sites created in each operating unit in this case uh, this responsibility payables manager is has been assigned to only Belkin Inc operating unit so that's why you are saying that 
just seeing one operating unit. But if you if, if it were to assign uh, using a MOAC responsibility, then you would uh, have all the operating units listed down here. So in this case, I'm going to assign this address to the Aravine main look uh, to the Belkin operating unit. I'm going to assign this site to the Belkin main operating unit and click on apply. So. So now this address has been successfully created and also has been assigned under the Belkin Inc. operating unit. The site has been assigned there. I can create contacts. Then uh, let's go to the banking details tab. So this is one more critical tab. So you can create a bank account and then uh, select existing bank or select uh, a new an existing branch in this country. Let's put in United States and then select United States and I'm going to create a bank of H HSBC. Let's see if I think we have that as one of our banks. So perfect H HSBC and I'm going to select that and that for the branch. Let me see what drops down. So oh, Shanghai branch. Uh, you know what, let's select different bank here. Yeah, so I want to call it HSBC USA. Okay, let's do this one. And then I'll select the bank branch as, <coughs> let's select New York. All right, and then the only important thing we need here is account number. So I'm going to punch in account number. So in some uh, environments, there's a validation of account uh, number. It can be of cert it needs to be like certain digits, but in this case, we are okay. And I click on apply. So we have created a bank account and a bank uh, details for this uh, HSBC bank for this supplier. I know you can go and create a bank branch, but that will be a longer video. So I'm just showing you the high level stuff uh, which you need to do while creating a supplier account. Then we next important thing is terms and control. So let's say that I will save this. Okay. So go to terms and control and now this liability account, these are all populated from your pay payables options. So it has already populated a liability account which you can override. Similarly, it has populated a prepayment account. Again, you can override that. All this defaulting is coming from the payables option. Bills payable, you can enter a bills payable account if you want to, and a distribution set. So there's no distribution set here, but what distribution set is, uh, when you punch in a set here, what it does is basically, uh, when you create manual invoices, it uses this as it uses this as a distribution set. So let's see if we have any distribution sets defined. So go. And yeah, there's Belmont. So you can pick any any one of those, but in this case, I'm not going to pick one. So let's just save this and move forward. Looks correct to me. Tax and reporting. So the first thing you need to do on this case is uh, if you have like tax and reporting things you want to define the supplier, you can uh, do that in this tab. Let's go down to purchasing. So when you this when you create any purchase orders against this supplier, this is what uh, it will use as a defaulting. So you can set a ship to, and then let's say Belkin. Let's put it. Belkin. Let's let Belkin components US as a ship to. And then ship via, let's put in something. Sh 
Shibuya. That's still the best method. And click on save. Receiving. So, and for ship to location, receive routing, match approval level, we'll just say two way receipt. None allow substitute receipts, allow other receipt, and let's say let's put five days and late for early and late late receipts. Receipt routing, let's select uh let's just do direct delivery in this case. And then click on save. Payment details. So this is what you will need when you pay the supplier. So in this case, you will see that you have another payment method which is check electronic outsource or wire. In this case, let's just do uh, check and uh, click on save. Another important tab is uh, invoice management. So this will dictate how your purchasing and receiving uh, will flow on. So let me go back to purchasing a little bit. I, I, uh, I we just did one tab. So the next one is self billing. So this one, if you want to do like as an ERS pay on receipt, you can select this one. So what it will do is it will automatically auto invoice when a receipt is uh, entered in the system. And then we want a pay site. And then if you want to create an automatic debit memo for uh, RTV transactions, you can select that and click on save. So this is another important tab of self billing. So freight, if you want to do an FOB, and you can do all these things in this uh, setup. Let's go back to invoice management. So the system automatically defaults uh, some things for you. So we can override that. So in this case, I want to change my invoicing match to purchase order. And let's keep, uh, I want to hold from payment all the invoice un unmatched invoices. Invoice currency is USD. Payments. So uh, payment priority, let's put payment priority as one. And then the payment currency should always match with the invoice currency. So you, if you put in something else like GBP or uh, a Australian dollars, the system won't allow you to save it. And then click on save. And then terms, these are your terms. So let's change now we are paying your supplier, so let's put in like 60 days. Let Net 60, let's select this one. And then this is on terms and basis invoice. Paid basis invoice, and let's keep all the other uh, things as they are. Supply preferences here you can select a, a sub preference by each uh, site. So, for our main uh, site, what payment method, payment currency, invoice currency, the two method you have, you can select all those things here. So, that's basically it. So, and then click on save. That will create, uh, it will make uh, changes to your uh, invoice management tab, and then your supplier has been created. So let's go and see over time. Let's just go. There you go. This is a new supplier. So only one site has, has been there, and then all the all the attributes of this supplier you can see here. So you can go on organization, you can see all the sites here. 
sorry, um, I clicked the wrong button. So add this book. So this is this is your address and this is your site for that supplier. So in this way, you can verify all the details. So in this way, we have created a new supplier. Now let's try to uh, see how we can update an existing supplier. So click on suppliers and let's select Arcadian. Just put in few things and then select Arcadian Technology Corporation. I want to update this guy. And then you can, let's say, let's update uh, the purchasing options, for example. FOB, I'm going to say its origin. Let's keep it as is. Uh, wait terms. Let's put to TBD and click on save. So that's how uh, you update existing fields uh, for the supplier. So for the similarly for receiving, this requires like this one and then we can change it to four way and click on so this is how you can pretty much up, update existing supplier so you can go and create a new supplier using this button or query an existing supplier uh, by putting a supplier name So that's what I had to show guys. So thank you and uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, hope you have uh, understood how to create new suppliers and update existing suppliers in your new Artwell uh, environment.